Man, this travel schedule is really starting to wear Dude. me down, man. I mean, here we are all the way in Barbados. But that flight was a little uh, little sketchy. Well, the seaplane, they're landing in five foot seas. I was hoping that there'd be an official that could greet us. Apparently there's some soccer game or something, so all the you know government officials are not available today. Right. The great grandpappy uh, Regal has, has left me apparently a sugarcane plantation, but you know, they sent me a bill for the taxes and you know, you're a guy in college, you know you're moving way too fast for taxes. A gynecologist? What? <laughs> I wish. You know, the people at the uh, Regal Family Library up in Flint, Michigan were able to get, uh, there's one remaining photo, Luke, Luke, Lieutenant Captain Colonel Regal of, or, not reincarnated, but pre-incarnated. I do see a bit of a resemblance. Well, you know, it's, he's got a very interesting story. He came to Barbados, he actually won this plantation in a bar bet where he was able to guess the amount of water in the harbor. Grandpappy Regal. So what do you want to do, man? Have a couple more banana daiquiris or should we just get on down to the plantation and start running the show? Well, maybe we can take a roadie. Exactly. We should actually check out some of the local clubs. The, the local club here is probably like a couple of picnic tables in a vacant lot, a bottle of rum, some chickens pecking out the dirt. <laughs> Guys throwing dice or something in the corner. Playing boons. Got <laughs> a probating bug in my maw. Barbados thing? I don't know how we're supposed to figure out the rules, man. Have any uh, numbers on them? No, not that one. Yeah, that one. If it's we, black, uh, you say smoke. If it's red, you say fire. You ready? Fire. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Did you read the sign that says don't pick the cotton? Oh, but you own this. The first thing we're doing is taking that sign down. Take that back and we'll use that later. I wonder what these houses were for. Was it like student housing? Or? No, I'm sure they had some sort of artists and residency program. It's probably like an exchange program. You know, Grandpappy was a he was a glass blower. <laughs> I say either we break in and we go back to the uh, bar. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think that would be good. <laughs> Woo!
confuse me with the many faces that you wear. You amuse me by pretending that you don't care. Moment to disappear.